Hello and welcome, and welcome to my uh, homework. Um, I'm Gilad, and I will uh, explain to you what bubble sorting is. Well, bubble sorting is uh, something who is quite a it's a quite a old-fashioned sorting, but and usually you won't uh, you won't use it very often, but. Uh, you should you should uh, get a grasp of, of what it is and how do you how to use it because it uh, it will be uh, improve your code uh, eventually. Well, what bubble sorting is? Um, let's say that that's uh, that's a th that's our array, and uh, I w we want to uh, get from three to se to eight, okay? But it's all messed up, so. What do we do? We need uh, we need to order we need to order it um, according to uh, from lower to the greater. So bubble sorting uh, suggests that we will take the first the first uh, number and then uh, compare it to the next number afterwards. So if we say uh, three is greater than uh then five we said no okay so we move the to the next uh, to the next number five is greater than four yes okay so then we switch it then four will be here and five will be here and then we say five is greater than six no then we okay then we say six is greater than eight yes then so sorry, six is not greater than eight. Then we're good, and then eight is greater than seven. Yes. So then we switch it. So eight will be here, and seven will be here. So how do we how do we do that? Uh, let's see. Int r. Okay, first we will uh, get an uh, get it done. Let's say it's five variables, and we'll have. Uh, three, five, four, six, uh, seven, and that's it. Uh, let's uh, let's mess it up a bit. Four, seven. All right. All right. Then one, two, three, four, five. Let's make it six. What happened? Oh, this one. Huh. Uh, anyway, one, four, five, six, eight. All right. Um, so we will make a four loop. Then we'll say i is equal to zero. Okay, so it will be zero. Okay, till the end of r. So whatever length r is, it will basically go through zero to this number, and then it will uh, eventually increase by one. Then we want to make another for loop we'll call it J it will be also uh, start with 0 and then we will make it again length which is 6 okay and J will be increased by 1 each interaction uh, and then we want to make an if statement. So, if um, r i is less than r j, then we want then we want um, maybe we have int temp zero here just for 
um, grasps the uh, so if the let's say let's say we, let's say we here um, seven is greater than six so we want to take seven hold it in this temp okay in this integer want to hold it and then switch because we can switch uh, if we will see switch then we will probably erase the last number that we just swapped so um, let's go and make um, R I whoops temp is R I then um, R I equal whoops R J all right then R J is temp right if uh, let's see if se we grasp 7 we keep it then we say this one which is ri is this one so 6 and then we say this one which is temp used to be temp is rj correct okay so let's print it out we'll say our length we will say our length and then right line we we make a th uh, another for loop for the um, for the type okay for the for the printed um, we say that zero equals r whatever i is okay remember this is i now not this one because it's another loop um, let's see three four five six seven eight that's correct